they keep moving it. That's so it. you guys push the ambitions and we... So with the Omicron variant, what we've seen is panic in many countries that has led um, uh, acceleration of boosters, both to the numbers of people getting them, but also the timeline for getting them. And that, of course, means that we could see in the future a situation where those vaccines are not available for developing countries. So that's one concern. We also are beginning to see um, donors not wanting to donate their um, doses as fast as they might have because of the uncertainty now of where we are. Of course, our long-term concern is if it turns out that new variant vaccines are required, that there may be an inequity 2.0 where we see wealthy countries hoard those vaccines once again, like we saw at the beginning of the pandemic. what's happened with Omicron is that countries in, in wealthy countries have in general slowed down the rollout of their vaccines. There has been a pickup again with Omicron because of the concerns about this. And also now with an acceleration of booster doses, that means that um, you know people are rushing to get boosters that might not have done that in the past. So what this has led to is a situation where countries may not be as keen to donate vaccines as quickly as they can, or it might might affect longer term supply of vaccines. I originally went on the record way at the beginning when I gave the TED talk about this when it started. I mean, the fastest vaccine. Well, the critical message is all political leaders have to take care of their own population. But in a global pandemic, they have to pay attention to the spread around the, the rest of the world. Because if you don't pay attention to that, there is there's the humanitarian side of doing it, but also you see the waves of disease. And so Delta came and affected the entire world in a few weeks after it appeared in the India. And we're seeing the same thing with Omicron, where after it was in um, South Africa and identified there, it is now spreading across the world. So what we ought to think about is both the domestic needs but then the global needs in a pandemic. For the manufacturers, I think this is an important question is what's the balance between making money and also serving uh, the populations? And obviously there is some trade-off there, but what's required is both serving your primary high paying populations, but also then making doses available for other populations at the same time. And at some point, they're late enough where they may not be attractive anymore because newer vaccines have come. Or... Well, the question at the end always is, will political leaders understand the science and make a decision globally, or will they always come back to just national interest? And this is why when people say you were naive, I, you know, I thought if... If you imagine a company getting happen quite as well as we want, whatever. But, you know, that's a really important point to build into if Covest didn't exist. And the answer is no. You don't yeah, answer that. Right. So. Yes. Well, look, I mean